guys that is my cat the background is not the most aesthetic but i'd rather go for lighting than background so that you can see my face i have been posting on social media for the longest time yet i'm so nervous to post this youtube video you may never see this this might just be between me and my camera this may never come out but i'm gonna make it anyway welcome to my first ever youtube video Woo! today is thursday the 12th of september which is my birthday also, if the lighting keeps changing, it's because I'm by my double doors in my bedroom and obviously the clouds keep going over the sun. So if it changes, I'm really sorry. I'm doing this on my iPhone. I just wanted to kind of document my birthday and the next couple of days because I've got some exciting things coming up and I thought I'd take you along with me. I feel like this is quite an exciting and fun first ever YouTube video to do, spend my birthday with me. So my mum is working, my dad is working, my brother is working, my boyfriend is working, most of my friends are working, apart from me and my cat. I was kind of stuck for ideas of what to do. I didn't want to just be sat around in my room waiting for everybody to finish work, that is so boring. So I texted my bestie who lives down the road and I said, please, can we do something? I need to do something for my birthday, I don't care what it is, we're going out for lunch, we're going for a walk, please can we just do something? And she was like, apps freaking lootly. So I was kind of feeling spontaneous yesterday and I was like, should we just go to Brighton? Should we go to Brighton for the day? Bearing in mind yesterday, it was chucking it down with rain. The heavens opened and I was kind of second thinking it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let the rain stop me from having a good birthday. Let's go to Brighton. So we were going to do that, have a bit of lunch, do a bit of shopping. I haven't been to Brighton in yonks. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, that's kind of a trek. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half drive. Do I want to be sat in the car with her for an hour and a half? I'm joking, I love her to bits, that was a joke. It's a long drive, and also me and my family and my boyfriend are going out for dinner tonight, and I do have to be back here for like five o'clock, so it doesn't really give us loads of time, because it's quarter past 12 right now, so it would only give us like two hours there. I had a bit of breakfast, did a bit of thinking, and I was like, let's go somewhere a little bit closer that's easier to get to, that still has the same vibe. We're heading to Windsor today. We're gonna to do a little bit of shopping. We're gonna have some lunch. It's gonna be a very chilled, bestie day. I don't know what time she's picking me up. We haven't even discussed it, but we should probably leave soon because it's nearly one o'clock. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring you along on my birthday antics. I've got a couple of things tomorrow and I've got something very exciting happening on Saturday. First ever YouTube video, let's go ham. Birthday weekend. I've actually got here one of my birthday presents which has literally just arrived i've just run down to answer the door to open it this is from my brother i probably should open it with him but i think he's in a meeting but that's fine i'm really really late to the adidas trend but better late than never so i actually ordered a pair last week and i just didn't like the color i ordered like a dark pink but i just wasn't feeling it i unboxed them i tried them on and then i found these ones online these are more a bit of me than the other ones Look at them, they're so fresh. Ready? Oh my god, guys, these are literally beautiful. I'm a five foot four girly that needs a bit of height, so I thought these are perfect. I'm obsessed with these, like the blue at the back and the silver. I'm obsessed. So yeah, the other ones that I ordered were like a dark, kind of musky pink. I mean, these do look quite dark on camera, but they're not. They're like a baby pink. And I just saw these and I thought, I'm such a baby pink kind of gal. Like, I need these in my life. And what size did I get? I got a size four. Because the other ones I got, I got in a size four and a half. And they were slightly too big. So I hope these would be better. I might wear these today. It's not raining. It's, the sun is out. I feel like I should wear them. Probably should. But yeah, I don't know about this little crinkly bit here. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of giving me like sensory ick. I don't really know how I feel about that. But anyway, gorgeous. Thank you to my brother for buying me these. I might, I'll put them on and go and stomp around in his bedroom. I need to get dressed. I'm not wearing this. I've literally just chucked this on because I just went next door to go and see my hairdresser slash neighbour and my grandma because she was getting her hair done. So I just went next door to see them. So I will get changed. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. But yeah, I will speak to you when I'm in Windsor. Apologies that the lighting is so bad, but I'm just doing a quick fit check before we go. My friend's downstairs. I've left her with a cup of tea just while I quickly chuck on an outfit. So yeah, we are ready to go to Windsor. Ooh, look how cute these are. They're like little parcels. What's in it? Chicken? Yeah, it's like chicken and veg. 
sticky chicken. That looks incredible. Oh my god, wow. I didn't even notice like, all the, the greenery. Noodles and prawn cracks. And we're also waiting for some more chicken. Oh, I didn't mean to flash to cut one. Oh, that uh, was not very pretty. <laughs> that wasn't very aesthetic, but it's fine. <laughs> it is crunchy. Oh, it's like minced chicken and veg. It's like a dumpling, but crispy. Oh, okay. It's pouring with rain in September. This is the current sitch. This music. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I freaking love this shop. So we're in Oliver Bonus. I'm literally obsessed. Oh my God, they have so much Coco and Eve stuff. Why do loads of content for them? Love all of their things. I just love like all their little bits. Like look at this makeup bag. Like, that's actually so cool. Love that. Any sort of candle, absolutely love. Oh my God, what is that? Jasmine, that's umbrella. Umbrel oh look! What is that? <laughs> what actually is it? Incense holder. Oh. You put a stick in the top and then oh, it touches the Oh yeah. Edge. Okay. Do we love or hate this bracelet? I don't know if I love or hate it. It's a bit chunky for me, but it's cute. We got some more here. These are cute. Good check. Loads of stunning jewelry, I'm literally obsessed with it all. Oh my god, look at that! That is so pretty. And their little earrings. I want it all, I want to buy all of it. I think I'm gonna get this baby pink top. It's so cute. She is quite long, but I love it. And if you rub garlic on your toes, you can taste it. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thanks. Anyway. What are you having? <laughs> you have to tell me what you're having. I just want to go to the toilet, but look how many stairs I have to climb up. Look at that. Disgusting, and I'm in heels. This is not, not a vibe. You know what? There's one thing I love about the ivy, and it's the toilets. They're just so stunning. Let us have a look if these ones are nice. Oh my god! Oh, stop! Look at that. Oh my god, that's literally gorgeous. That is so pretty. Anyway, that's the toilet. I hope there's no one in here. I'm not even joking, the most embarrassing thing has just happened to me. I just walked into this toilet and they were both taken. So I waited for someone to come out and a guy came out and we just looked at each other and we were like, <laughs> and he was like, am I in the girls' toilets? And I was like, am I in the boys' toilets? Oh my God. That is so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. I wondered why the toilets were like so dull. Cause normally the toilets look like this. That is so embarrassing. The way he just walked out of the cubicle and just stared at me. Oh, we were both like. <laughs> Looks delicious! So excited! I don't know if this is what I should expect this to be really spicy. I can see chilies in it. Ooh. I need to brace myself. Very pretty. <laughs> coming to you from the next day i think the last thing you would have seen is us at the ivy last night at dinner on my birthday so today is friday and as you can probably see i have my suitcase here because tomorrow me and my boyfriend are going somewhere really really exciting i have actually been invited to go and stay at a hotel in london and when i say hotel in london this is a five star hotel like little old me being invited to go and stay at a five-star hotel in the middle of London like what the actual hell this is a little bit different because we're not actually staying the night this is just like a daycation 
obviously like I'll tell you more about it when we're there tomorrow. I am gonna be vlogging it because it's gonna be so exciting. I can't wait. I just thought we could pack together because there's a few bits that I need to take. Obviously, I need to get loads of content because I have been invited to take content. And also, whilst I'm at a five-star hotel in London, I might as well get loads of outfit content because I've been sent some gorgeous dresses from a brand called Runaway the Label in Australia. And these dresses are too nice to just be me in my room, you know, taking pictures in the mirror. These dresses deserve to be like shown at their best. So I thought, what's more perfect than a five-star hotel in London? I've already prepared my boyfriend that he is gonna have to take about a million pictures of me. And he was like, that's absolutely fine. So he has already agreed to do that, which is fab. Starting off, I've got a bra and knickers. That's obviously gonna be really important. I do have my swimming costume because it is like a spa hotel, which I'm so excited about. We do have access to the pool, the sauna, the spa, the gym, everything. I'm so excited. I literally can't wait. So I've got my crinkle swimsuit. I'm not feeling a bikini. Have you seen how cold it is outside? I'm sure the pool is heated and obviously the sauna. But I love this crinkle swimsuit. This is from Boohoo. I got this last year. I absolutely love it. I have it in like five different colours. I'm also bringing my mini tripod because obviously I've got to get that content. We actually do have access to a room. We have like a super king room, which sounds really, really nice. We do have access to that all day, obviously, because I need to film content like in the room and like showing what the room's like. And obviously I will do like a get ready with me in there before we take content. I just want to be makeup free the whole day until right at the end when I can take my content. We do actually get to have lunch as well. That is included, which I'm so excited about. I don't know anything about this hotel. I've never ever been before. I've just seen pictures and it looks stunning. So I'm really excited. This here, you might ask, what the hell is this? This is my mini travel iron. And I actually love her so much. I take her everywhere with me when I go on holiday, if I go on a trip because you never know if you're gonna need to iron something and there might not be an eye in the room. I'm sure in this five star hotel there will be an iron, but I'm just gonna take this just in case because I get really stressed and I don't wanna take content in these dresses when they're creased. That is not a good look. I'm also taking all of my hair stuff with me because I do wanna do a slick back. I just feel like slick back, you can see all of your face, you know, you can see all of like your shoulders and everything and these dresses are so stunning. I don't want to be centre of attention, I don't want my hair down, I don't want my hair in the way of it. These dresses need to be seen. So I've got all my hair stuff. My suitcase there. Sorry about the mess here, it's all like my charges and stuff. Oh, I was also thinking of taking these, but then I just I am just gonna have my hair up, so I'm not gonna bother with those. Time for the best part. These are the dresses. I just want to show you this first dress. Literally screams mermaid. It is so stunning. And like, what better opportunity to wear it than a freaking hotel? So I'm definitely taking her with me. I might need to wrap her up in a separate bag. I've also got this blue one here, which is absolutely stunning. Love her so much, electric blue. That was actually the color of my prom dress, so cute. I also have this one. Now they did send me two of these. One was a short version. This one's obviously the maxi dress, but it's like a corset at the top. And it's just so stunning. Honestly, I tried it on and I was like, I actually look hot. So I need to get a picture in that. And then obviously I'm not gonna pack my makeup bag yet because I'm gonna do a little bit in the morning just to like make me look more awake because I am going out to the pub tonight and I'm probably am gonna be a bit hungover for tomorrow. So I need to cover the eye bags, I need to look more awake for when I arrive. So yeah, I've just literally got to pack my makeup bag. I think that's it. That is literally it. And I'm just gonna chuck on an outfit tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm heading out to the pub tonight with all my friends to celebrate my birthday. I've invited everybody and I've hired out like the outdoor part of this pub. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. Like it is really cold outside and it's four o'clock. So I, I'm guessing at nine o'clock tonight, it's gonna be freezing. I don't know what to wear. But anyway, we'll figure that out in a minute. I should have been at the pub about 10 minutes ago, but that's fine. We're running late as always, which is absolutely fine. But priorities, I just wanted to show you my outfit. I'm wearing my new jacket that I got from Boohoo for my birthday. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. One of my besties has also just popped over and dropped off this necklace and it's got my birthstone on it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And she's also got me a bracelet. I better go because we are in a rush and I will catch you at the pub. I don't know who's gonna watch this. <laughs> Am I still going to be filming?
so today is Sunday and I'm in fact not at a five star hotel in London having a spa treatment in the sauna and having lunch. I am here at home because we didn't go. And the reason we didn't go is because we had an ultimate rock day yesterday. So we obviously went out on Friday night for my birthday to the pub with all my friends. I had way too much to drink. That is basically it. Woke up on Saturday. I couldn't even stand up. I actually could not even stand up. I was definitely still drunk from the night before. And the thought of having to get the train all the way up to London, it wasn't just one train, it was about three trains and a walk. I couldn't do it. I actually could not do it. And I felt awful because this lovely company had booked this spa day for me and my boyfriend. And I just had to say, look, I can't do it. I actually can't do it, but it's fine. I sent them a lovely email and I said, please can we reschedule because I'm desperate. That would have been the perfect thing to have done yesterday on a hungover day. But it's just the fact that I had to get all the way up to London. I couldn't even stand up straight. I don't want to ever relive yesterday. It was horrible. So today is Sunday. Let's just, yesterday was written off. Today is Sunday. It's a new day. We're having such a chill day. I've completely tidied my room, I've vacuumed, I've changed my bed, we are back to life. I also feel like I wouldn't have appreciated it as much yesterday, being hungover, I just would have felt sorry for myself. So I'm excited to go feeling like fresh, so I can enjoy it and obviously take good content. Because I'm not going to be like, oh, I feel so sick. We had such a good time on Friday night, it was such a good turnout. Like, I was really worried that like people just wouldn't come. But all my besties showed up, which is the main thing. We had such a good time. Lots of drinks, music, just good vibes. It was really nice to see everybody. And I got so many lovely presents from all my friends. So I might do like a little unboxing video of like my presents that I got. But yeah, sorry to disappoint that there's no five star hotel spa retreat. But there will be a video coming soon when we reschedule. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to make some lunch. Just enjoy... A Sunday my boyfriend's gone home he's literally been he's basically moving in because of his job but yeah he's been here all week so he has gone back home today his house is like 10 minutes away from my house so it's not really a big deal but he's gone back today but we're gonna catch up on some Emily in Paris because the new like part two of the new season is out so I'm gonna make some lunch I'm gonna sit and watch that good vibes for the beginning of my 23 year I hope you enjoyed this first ever YouTube video and I hope it was good fun sorry that there's no spa retreat but there will be coming up soon and yeah I hope you enjoyed this 